perfect morning. And how about that launch? So exciting. Just gives you chills watching it. Well, we are looking at temperatures dropping just a bit today. The upper 90s yesterday. The average this time of year is 93 and we'll be right around 95, 96 degrees. Now, thunderstorms have left the area. So that's great news for all the firefighters out there worried about new lightning strikes. So that is exited. But we are still looking at dry conditions. We have dry vegetation. Things are going to start picking up in terms of winds this afternoon, at least for the valley spot. So I know we had the American River Park area yesterday with a few fires there so not good when it comes to dry vegetation but we are looking at sunshine and a warm day ahead we're still going to track those fire conditions because of how dry it is out there we have a red flag warning in place for the northeast corner of the state and pretty much most of the north areas of idaho into wyoming north dakota under red flag warnings and excessive heat warnings over 100 degree temperatures there but for us we're sticking around those mid 90s the winds are going to pick up we're getting a trough off the pacific that's starting to bring in those winds from the delta that's 23 mile per hour winds in Fairfield, about 10 to 15 mile per hour winds and Lynn for today, as well as tomorrow, a little calmer for the foothills around six, seven mile per hour winds. So that's good because that's where we see a lot of the fires starting in the foothills and the higher Sierra, but the winds aren't going to be a huge issue there. All that smoke is going to be pushing closer toward the northeast into Nevada. So the high pressure that's in place is circulating a lot still of that monsoonal moisture, but the thunderstorms are now moving over areas of northern Nevada into Idaho and now pushing over toward Wyoming and Montana. And that's where we're seeing some threats there for fires. But that dip here in this jet stream is going to bring in some cooler air, just slightly cooler, not a massive cool down. But hey, it's enough to drop temperatures enough for five degree drop. It's going to feel nicer. You can see most of those storms exiting the area, and that's going to leave us pretty much clear and dry. And we're going to be looking good. Mid 90s for Jackson Angels Camp, upper 90s in Ione, 84 in Truckee, South Lake Tahoe. And taking a look at the temperatures for the week, we're going to see those mid 80s continuing there. And taking a look at our 10 day forecast, that will bring our temperatures right around the lower 90s to average temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. For your weekend, we're looking still at mid 90s, so very nice. Right around average this time of year, low 90s on Monday. We should be getting a little warmer by this time next week.